Join myself and kill as remedy. Together, we will devour the very god. <laughs> What's up gents? How you guys have been doing? So for today's video I wanted to make a heat state, heat burst guide with Yoshimitsu. How exactly you can go about utilizing the heat stay and using heat burst in your combos as well as to why you want to be in heat state, what exactly does it do for Yoshimitsu so that that way you can have an idea as as to how you should be applying your heat state, your heat engager or your heat burst and going for essentially these enhanced moves that you have while you're in this state. So for one, your heat state allows you to have access to all of your no sword stance enhanced moves. So for example, you have access to, you say your down one that's enhanced, gives you health, does a bit more damage, same thing with the say down four three one. That's the same thing as the down one ability. Moves like let's say up back one plus two and so forth. So while you're in your heat state, other moves that you didn't have access to while you're in your no sense, for example, Majin to four one plus two are also enhanced. And if you're in your Maji sense again and let's say you use one you have access to a move on normal hit that launches and also gives health back as well. Essentially, that while you're in your heat state, all of your enhanced moves that you use while you're in your no sword stance can be used without being in your no sword stance. So this is a big caveat with Yoshimitsu and it's one of the reasons why people think that he's is quite strong in this game. Because he didn't really have this in Tekken 7 because he didn't have a, an ability that allowed him to heal back from moves. He only was able to do this while using his meditation stance. So in meditation stance in Tekken 7, he used to be able to heal raw health. Now, instead of that, it just heals the gray health that you have been dealt upon you by the enemy's attack. So with the access of your no sword stance abilities, or at least the moves that are enhanced while you're in that stance, you can then heal yourself. But while you're in your heat state, you don't have to be in your no sword stance. So you have access to all of these moves that are enhanced without the need of going to your no sword stance. And then having access to your Manji 4 1 plus 2, as well as your Manji 1. That you couldn't really do while you're in no sword stance which is the only way you can have access to these enhanced properties of these moves. Now for the moves that you use while well, to try to get, let's say, either a heat engager will be either back 2-2, two, two, Kencho into forward 2, Majin to 4, and forward 1 plus 2. These moves allow you to go into your Heat Engager. So while you're in your Heat Engager, unlike with, let's say, if you were just using your Heat Burst or to activate Heat Burst, if you activate your Heat Burst without attacking or either if you were attacking with Heat Burst, you only have a, let's say, three-fourth of the actual Heat Gauge, I think, if I'm correct with the math. But if you, let's say, you were to use a Heat Engager, you have full access of your heat gauge, so you are full of your heat, unlike if you're using a heat burst. That's, you know, something that everybody already knows now since it's already been a month or so since the game has been out. So I don't think anybody doesn't understand what a heat engager looks like and what it does give you in return, uh, unlike with using a heat burst raw, right? But in the case of Yoshimitsu, especially, especially with the nurse that he's received, while you're in your heat state, moves like, let's say, your flash, which is the most important move that gets enhanced while you're in your heat state, can only be used once or twice while you're in your heat state. So if I go into my heat state while heat bursting, I only have two, I guess you can say, stocks of using flash. If I go into my heat engager, I got three flashes that I can use. So that means you have some t 
time to use your flashes while you're in your heat state. Now, you may say, am I only meant to be using flash while you're, I'm in my heat state? No. Like I said, you have other moves you can use while you're in your heat state to try to get the most out of using your heat. But I would say that the one of the moves that, are, that is super like focused on while you're in your heat state and the fact that you don't have to use it while you're in your no sword stance as while you're in your no sword stance you have a much bigger hitbox when using the move comparatively if you were just using it while you're in your default stance because you don't have no range you have to time flash to actually work but while you're in your no sword stance you have the range so while in heat state this is a big positive to use this move whenever you can catch him off guard and use your flash but you only have two tries while you're heat burst and while you're heating gauge you have three last thing that i want to say as well with yoshimitsu is that while in heat state just like every character they have their heat smashes so with yoshimitsu this is a heat smash when utilized he does give some health back while using it but while if the opponent were to block his heat smash by holding up, you go into your mounting stance. Now, if you were to use Heat Smash and they block it and you go into your Manji stance, you're plus 10 on block. So this means that if the opponent tries to press any buttons against you, let's say if they were to try, you can try to confirm whether or not they're going to attack you by going with a Manji 2 or a Manji 4. Or even a Manji 4 1 plus 2. This is to see whether or not if they're going to try and attack you right after. If they're not going to attack you, then they may just try to block you. And that's where you try to go and mix up with whatever it is that you want to mix up with. Like let's say maybe you want to go into Manji and do 4 1 plus 2. But if they duck it, then well, you're not totally unsafe. They can probably still retaliate and catch you off guard. But if not, then you can try using Manji 2 to be more safe. And if they do duck it, you can just go right back down. And if they try to attack and just say you think that they may duck it and then attack right after, then you can just go for another Manji 2 to check and see whether or not if they will try to attack. But it's much safer to just go back down and then block whatever they may end up going for right next. But if you want to be super safe, at least in terms of when you want to attack them, just go for your Manji 4 as this is safe on block. So it protects you from the fact that they may try to duck and uh, duck the highs that you're going to be using next or it would also help you that they just confirm whether or not if they will duck and if they do duck they get hit by the Manji 4. <laughs> combos that you can perform with Yoshimitsu. Now I'm gonna go and showcase some of the easier co easier combos to do with Yoshimitsu and then some of the more intermediate combos and then into the more I guess very hard you know hell mode combos I guess that you can do with Yoshimitsu. So for now we'll start with your heat burst combos. Now I'm going to showcase heat engager combos, or at least combos while you're in your heat state already.
So this is essentially all of the combos that I have figured out with Yoshimitsu. Now I don't know if there's other ones that are better. These are the ones that I have done myself and tried finding the most optimal routes with Yoshimitsu. I know that some of them are a bit harder to pull off, but that's why there's an easier version and then there's the more difficult version that you can pick out from to do said combo either in your heat state or while doing a heat burst combo. So I hope this has helped you guys to understand exactly how to really use Yoshimitsu. If you want something more in depth, I guess I'll do something else that's more of a, an explanation as to how to put these combos into good use in a natural match. But if not, then, well then, I hope this guide has provided everything that you need so that you can then use them in your gameplay. If you like what you watched, please give it a like, subscribe and see more of my shit, hit the notification bell so that you can see more of my content, and stay tuned.